Welcome to SiteVento. In this presentation, we'll be going over the K2 component that's available for Joomla from Joomla Works. Now, normally we do short vignettes that are sort of straight and to the point. In this case, we want to sort of go over a, a larger overview of the K2 component, its uses, and how it's going to work or potentially work for your website. So, we will attempt to introduce the K2 component and give you some idea of the functionality that's available. Explain the basic structure and that works behind the scenes to drive the component. Briefly jump into front-end administration. And hopefully explain the advanced administration in the back-end to an extent, so at least you have a general concept of it. K2 is piece, a component for Joomla that is part of our advanced Cybenta solution. It is not available with our core packages because it requires you to sort of understand Joomla already and move past its core and work yourself into a sort of a new mindset almost that is designed to help you display data in sort of a different way that has extensive relationships between it. So no longer are you working with just simple articles but you're working with um, items that exist within categories that can relate to each other. And it is all operated by a single component that consists of just four modules, two plugins, and the central command. K2 is used in an array of different resources, uh, news sites, work portfolios, document managers, event listings, and so on. But in our case, we'll be showing you how to use it as a catalog or a product catalog for items that you might have to showcase that you don't necessarily want to use an e-commerce solution for. E-commerce solutions such as Virtuomart are sort of the advanced way if you're planning to go into retailing those products in some fashion. But if you're just looking at displaying them, K2 might be a better choice. It's also simpler and far easier to customize. If you're familiar with Joomla to an extent, you, you are familiar with its limitations. Particularly, Joomla is driven by articles that exist within set categories within sections, but you can't really create relationships between them. You can't add extra fields, and anytime you want to have a desired effect, you have to look for a new module or a new plugin that will achieve that. K2 brings it all together. Um, the nested level categories are one of the reasons to use K2. But in addition to that, you have things like a sophisticated comment system, tags and tag clouds. If you're not familiar with those, we'll jump into those shortly. The ability to add extra fields, which is priceless if you're dealing with products that have specifics that you want to share. A distinct item image, as well as a gallery that uses simple slideshow gallery from Joomla Works to display additional photos. Um, typically, you're forced to put an image inside an article when, when it comes to Joomla standard content. Uh, K2 actually have a specific has a specific slot just for that. It allows you to upload and process images. Uh, sorry, it allows you to upload and process videos. That's also handled by a plugin in the back end. Uploading in images and, and videos is not a simple task. It's not just as easy as taking a file and sending it to the web server. That can have disastrous consequences. Uh, videos are processed in a particular size, particular format, so are pictures. People are used to taking pictures with 10 megapixels, which is the size of a billboard, and then trying to upload them at 3 megabytes a piece into a website. Things like that don't work. K2 has thought of all that, and it processes that data and converts it to a standard that's actually available and usable within the website. Uh, the ability to add attachments to articles, which is where the document piece comes in, the ability to have specific user profiles and blogs for those people, especially useful if you're going to have multiple authors commenting and adding um, content to your site. Ajax-based front editing, which is just simply a sexy way of displaying um, the editors. And the powerful plugins that I just discussed briefly that handle all of the content management. <laughs> 